everyone, welcome back. I am Anika and today I'm going to show you how I gave my daughter's room a really fun makeover. Now I did not take any video before I started the project, so you get a before for picture. It is a pretty simple, plain room, and it is time to add a nice bunch of color to it to match her personality. Let's go. So I started off by making a template on paper. I folded a piece of paper in half, which is going to signify the center of the design. Now I did decide to use this also as a corner of the room. And then I brought in a protractor and lined up 90 degrees with the crease I had made and the bottom of the paper with zero. And then I marked all the angles. I started out by marking for 20 degrees, but then I realized, you know what, I had to do 10 degrees. And I think 10 degrees gave me a pretty decent number of colors without it being overwhelming but of course if you were doing this you could totally increase or decrease the number of lines you wanted on each side and then I just used a ruler and extended all those lines out all the way to the edge of the paper now before actually painting I'm gonna have to go through and figure out exactly which colors I want to use and in what sequence. So I went to the home store and picked up a whole bunch of paint chips. I actually used my daughter's bedspread to sort of match the colors off of there and I just kind of played around with it to get a random distribution of colors. Um, just made sure they looked good next to each other and once I was ready with it, it was time to get to work on the wall. To transfer the pattern onto the wall, I simply taped the paper onto the wall where I wanted it and marked the ends of the lines onto the wall. And then I removed the paper and used a long straight edge, which is a yardstick in this case, and drew all those lines. I extended all the lines out to where I wanted. I actually decided to make the width of the pattern just slightly larger than the size of my daughter's headboard. So I used that as a guide and basically just extended the lines out all the way to where they needed to be. It is time to tape and paint these walls. The key to getting sharp lines is to make sure that the tape is applied properly. So you can see here that I'm slowly guiding the tape into place and then coming back and pressing it down. And then I come back with a old credit card to sort of burnish the edges and seal them up. I also taped the pattern so that every other stripe was taped off and ready to be painted. Now towards the corner, the pattern becomes narrower, so I used an X-Acto knife to cut off the tape to follow along the pattern. And I just repeated it for the entire pattern on the wall. And we are ready to paint. Of course, painting is pretty straightforward, I used a brush for the narrow areas and I bought this roller plastic tray patch up kit from Home Depot which is the perfect size for the wider areas of this pattern. And yes, I am painting over the plug point and the cover. These are paintable covers and they are specifically made so you can paint over them. After painting all the stripes, I slowly peeled away the tape at a 45 degree angle. Once all the paint had dried to touch, I went back in to tape off the next set of lines. Now I am using a painter's tape that is specifically meant for delicate surfaces like freshly painted walls. The process for taping these lines is pretty much the same as it was the first time around, except that as I am taping these lines, I'm making sure that there is an ever so little overlap between the previous painted lines so that we don't see the base color peeping through. And then I just went ahead and painted the next set of colors. 
Now here is one little pro tip. When you decide on the colors that you're going to use in the sequins, take a little picture of it so you can remember exactly which color goes where. I actually came back and painted a couple of those yellow stripes gray because I thought that was a little bit too much of yellow. Isn't it awesome how the paintable plug covers help completely disguise those plug points inside the pattern? And that is it. It is a nice little burst of color and having it in the corner sort of makes it like an optical illusion as well. It was a super easy project. It took me an entire day from morning through evening to paint this wall and I am absolutely in love with it. And most importantly, my daughter really, really loves it too. The best thing about this pattern is that you can easily adapt it to any room and any color scheme. Any color palette is going to look beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a whole bunch of fun, colorful project videos that you might like to check out. And if you aren't already, please do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future fun projects.